Hello everyone and welcome to this spotlight session which is all about the Student Virtual Learning Centre or Student VLC for short. My name is Isabel, I'm a community manager at ACCA, part of the team that delivers student support and I'm going to be with you just for the next 10 minutes or so showcasing the different interactive learning modules that you can access on the Student VLC. Now, firstly, hello to everyone, whether you're watching live or watching this on demand. Some of you may have accessed the Student VLC before. Some of you may never have heard of it, but whether you're familiar with it or not, we'll cover everything you need to know in this short session. Now, let's start with the basics. It's always a good place to start. So what is the Student VLC and how do you access it? Well, this is a platform for ACCA students, which provides a series of interactive learning modules and self-check quizzes that are relevant to different stages of the student journey. And I'm gonna go into what is covered on the Student VLC in a bit more detail uh, in just a minute. But for now, just know that it's free to access. You do need to set up an account using your email address. And what I want to note at this point is that the Student VLC isn't linked to your MyACCA account. So you can't use those login details to log in. It is in a separate site. But what we'll do is we'll include the link in the description and we will pop it in the chat now as well so you can access after watching this. So let's have a look at what is actually available on the platform. As I said, um, the different modules on available are aimed at different levels of ability. So some of these are going to be more relevant to you than others. But what I'm going to do is give you a very brief overview using my slides, and then we'll go and do a live demo and see what they look like on the platform itself. So a quick run through. We have English language support. These are um, a series of English language banks, and this section of the student VLC is one of four um, elements I should mention. So these English language banks, they've been developed in collaboration with the British Council to help you create exam answers that are clear, allowing markers to follow your answers easily. Next, we do have a maths course as well available on the Student VLC. We've just launched an interactive essential math skills course that's designed to develop basic mathematical skills and prepare you for more advanced studies. It's going to introduce key mathematical concepts that will strengthen your foundational knowledge. Next, we have the get ready quizzes. So underlying knowledge is vital to exam success and our get ready self-check quizzes help you prepare for applied skills and strategic professional exams by assessing the level of your underlying knowledge. They test you on the topics that you've covered earlier in the qualification that you're bringing forward so you can address any gaps as part of your study plans. Finally, you can access our Knowledge Recap e-learning modules. And if you're set sitting the Strategic Professional Options exams, these are a really useful tool to help you prepare and revisit any topics that you need to in order to understand you strengthen and understand the topics that will help you successfully pass your choice of options exams. So that was a quick run through and what I'll do now is share my screen and we will give you um, a look at what the platform looks like. So bear with me for two seconds as I share my screen. So hopefully you should be able to see that OK. Uh, this is the homepage of the student VLC. And you can see we've got the English section, we've got the math section, and we've got the get ready section. So the get ready section contains those self-check quizzes I've mentioned, as well as the knowledge recap modules. But I'll start with the English uh, language banks. So hopefully you can see that on my screen. So these sets of English language banks cover the different language functions that are common across ACCA exams at applied skills and strategic professional level. 
And when I say uh, language functions, what I mean is things like developing an argument, which you can see on the screen here, but also things like giving information and making recommendations. And these are really important to understand and be able to implement in your exams. So I do have this one open as an example. This is uh, the English Language Bank focusing on how to develop a language, uh, sorry, develop an argument. You can see there's the contents, list of contents on the right hand side there. So and there'll be an introduction to the um, language function that you're focusing on. Um, but also you can see as we go through, there are things like sample answers. So these language banks are really great because they contain useful words and phrases with example wording from answers to past ACCA exams. And you'll also find those sample answers that show how to combine words and phrases, which will allow you to write fuller answers. So I'm not going to stop and, uh, and focus on this for too long because it'd be great if you all go away and explore it in your own time. But these language banks are great if you are struggling to write answers to exam questions. That might be because English isn't your first language or you just want to build confidence in writing clear answers. And in that case, these using these English language banks as part of your question practice and your studies can help you get comfortable with using the right words, phrases um, that you'll need for your exam. So that was English. And uh, now let's take a look at ma the math skills module. So this course, oh, it might be a little bit small, let me make that bigger for you. This course has been broken down into three sections and then broken down further into three lessons each. Um, it covers a range of foundational concepts and topics that students need to grasp before embarking on more advanced studies. It is an interactive course. I'll just go into uh, the first section there. Um, and you can see there's lots of different things such as knowledge checks as well. So you can test your understanding of subjects that you've just covered. And at the end of every section, you will also find a 10 um, question quiz. Um, this will help you uh, apply your learning and then you can revisit subjects if you need to based on the results of these quizzes. So I can show you there. As you can see, it's very easy to um, navigate through the course. But there's also at the end, a final end of course test. This has 30 questions at the conclusion of the course, and that's gonna help you assess your understanding of all the topics that you've covered throughout and will help reinforce your learning. Your progress will be saved. And you can see actually on the left-hand side, if I scroll through, you can see uh, my navigation pane here. So I'm 47% complete of this course and you can see what lessons I've completed um, and what I need to go back and revisit. So you don't have to do all of this course in one go. You can go away, come back, or perhaps you just need to brush up on certain subjects and you can do that too. The course is really easy to navigate. So now let's move on to the get ready modules on the student VLC. So to be successful in ACCA exams, you need strong foundational knowledge that you build upon as you progress through the qualification. For example, if you're sitting an APM exam, you're building on knowledge that you've learned for your PM exam at applied skills stage. But if you don't have those strong foundations, you're not going to be able to fully understand or apply your skills effectively in that APM exam, as an example. Our Get Ready modules are a great way to assess your underlying knowledge ahead of your upcoming exam. And as I've already mentioned, they will help you spot uh, any gaps in your understanding by testing and refreshing your core underlying knowledge of key syllabus areas for all applied skills and strategic professional exams. So you can see I'm just scrolling through here. You can see all of those papers are represented here. The only one you'll see that's not there in applied skills stage is tax, and that's because that doesn't have an underlying paper. So 
all the quizzes are about 10 to 15 questions long. And once you've completed a quiz and submitted your answers, I'll just show you what one looks like here. You can see there's a multiple choice question. So I can just click the answer. I'm sure that's wrong, but we'll see. Um, and you just go through um, and there is an easy um, way of going back. So you don't have to worry about getting it right first time. You can go back and revisit if you think that you want to um, have another look at a question. Um, and once you're done, based on your score, the Student VLC will provide personalised recommendations on your next steps. So when you're preparing for an exam, we really strongly recommend using these quizzes at the earlier stage of your learning. This is because they test the knowledge that you've brought forward from your previous exams. And the results of these quizzes will help you prepare more effectively as you're going to have a better understanding of what gaps you have and you'll be able to address them early on. So the last but not least, the last thing I want to show you is the um, knowledge recap uh, modules. So I'm continuing with uh, my example of I'm sitting APM. This e-learning module I've just opened here, this is the uh, knowledge recap that's going to help strengthen my underlying knowledge that I've brought forward from PM and um, help me address those gaps before I go ahead and start preparing for the APM exam. These are a great re resource if you really want to strengthen your underpinning knowledge. What we recommend doing is um, completing the get ready self check quizzes so you can work out where those gaps are and then accessing these. Again, I won't spend too long going through this because they're quite big and, it, and you can take your own time to go and look through it. But you can see we've got introductory videos. Um, it's all very interactive which is great because it will keep you engaged as you learn um, and you can all keep on applying and testing your knowledge. So if you've completed the Get Ready self-check quizzes, you've uh, spotted gaps, or perhaps you're joining with exemptions uh, or returning to studies after a break, this set of comprehensive e-learning modules is going to help increase your confidence and develop your technical knowledge. Again, you can access these and it will save your progress. So you don't have to start from the beginning every time you open. You can go in, learn, and then if you need to take a gap, you can. I would mention as well on the knowledge recap modules, actually, that we did run a student survey and 87% of the respondents who'd used the knowledge recap modules actually said that they felt more prepared for their exam as a result. So that is fantastic. So that's just a quick run through. I hope it's been useful. Um, as you can see, the Student VLC has lots to offer students wherever they are in their ACCA journey. Um, I hope you're going to go and have a look and explore it yourself. Maybe you've already been on it before, but now you're thinking some of this will be relevant to your current stages of studies. So please do. We'll, we'll pop the we, oh, we've already popped the link in the chat. So um, and like I said, we'll include it in the um, video description as well if you're watching this on demand. So thank you so much for watching. Um, always great to have these spotlight sessions and showcase these fantastic ACCA resources. Thanks to uh, my ACCA colleagues who's helping in the back end. And thank you to everyone. Take care. Best of luck with your studies. Goodbye.